All right, welcome back everybody to another evidence review video. Once again, we're going back to Adams State University down in Alamosa, Colorado. And before we get into the evidence part, our team once again just wants to say a big thank you to Adams State Dining and Jordan for helping get us so accommodated and just feel so welcomed into the campus. And you know, we, we got to stay on campus this time, me, Sam, and Colin. And we even got to have some wonderful food. So thank you guys so much for not only inviting us back to investigate Richardson Hall, but just once again being so welcoming and so accommodating. I mean, it's super appreciative and it just means the world to the team. So without further ado, let's get into some of our personal experiences. So I will say this time for me, I think I felt more or experienced more activity than the first time we had investigated at Richardson Hall. Now perhaps this was due to there being less people, so there's more time to actually just kind of set off by yourself and really experience the environment one-on-one. -on -one. Now it did start off a bit slow, much like last time, but I think last time there was just so many different people uh, and we were helping so many different people learn new equipment and just how to properly use it that leading up to when things happen it moves so fast um, this time we walked around it felt kind of slow but then BAM the lights were going on now I didn't see this one personally like <clears throat> like in person the closest I got to seeing the stage light turning or the storage light on the back of the stage turning on by itself was through the DVR system. Luckily we were on the YouTube live at the time so if you guys were watching our live uh, you guys actually got to experience that at the very same time I did which was super cool and then after that again it kind of died down a little bit but yeah then it was about 11 o'clock or so at night and I think that's when the whole group got a little bit different feeling. I was down the hallway and some of the other group was in that little medical like waiting room lounge room as they called it and once again they were starting to kind of feel something weird going on and then eventually they all came down we were sitting in that long kind of hallway on that second floor that goes into the other medical rooms and there's a couple couches we were sitting there and that's when a lot of the EVP stuff started really happening and definitely started to have a different feel in the environment and really, I think what was the most exciting part. Now, when we get to the evidence, I think you'll see a lot of the evidence, or at least the few pieces of evidence that we caught, does coincide at this time. But yeah, I just remember they were asking questions, I was asking questions and it was answering. You know, it said a name Ellie, it said suffering, it said choke. So we'll have to go in and just do some research, see if there was any connection or just a name was blurted out unfortunately uh, but it was kind of interesting like I said this is when I think we started to get the most vibes and then right before we were going to end off it felt once again like we were kind of getting picked off and you know two people would go that way two people would go that way and it was just down to me and Colin and we ended up on the third floor and we were just walking around recording asking questions and this was a time where my phone just unexpectedly froze and died. And the whole time leading up to this, we were like following like the spirit box and it was like, you know, told us to go look for a list. Told us to go look for the dorm or the room, bedroom, uh, which the dorms where they used to be, that's kind of where we figured. That's why I went up to the third and then it said, go here, here, here. And we were kind of following it. And right when we got to the spot, right where, kind of where, where Andrew was sitting, I would say last time, we, it, it just died. So it was, it was kind of unexpected and I think a fun experience. But those are my personal experiences and like I said, I felt like I experienced more. I don't know if everyone did, but personally I thought, I felt more this time. Howdy Cools Paranormal, Colin here. We're here to talk about Adam's state in our ghost investigation that we did there this uh, past March 
and I'm here to kind of give you my experience that I had during that investigation um, and then we got some really cool evidence to show you like definitely can't wait for y'all to see that the start of the night was just kind of tough because our cameras were having issues and so I I and Sam were kind of just trying to get those cameras working so kind of around eight nine o'clock we kind of get everything situated again and once that was going then we can kind of start doing our um, our investigation now unfortunately I was still recovering from back surgery and elbow surgery so a lot of my time was on the cameras personally I didn't get much like one-on-one -on -one, kind of in the rooms and stuff with the the spirit and when I did the, the break room there was something in the break room that I could not explain it was still a heavy feeling kind of like how I had last time it was just off. There was something off about it, but I couldn't tell you what it was. Then there was this hallway kind of down that same way towards the medical end. And I think that was camera four, if you all want to refer to that. That long hallway was kind of where you knew something was at the end watching you. And it was that creepy feeling that... It's really hard to explain that feeling, but you knew something was watching you. So that was kind of like my two big, like, oh, this is weird. Now, like I said, I was more stationed at the cameras this round, but while reviewing live, there was a few times where we did catch that stage light in the background turning off, which was kind of weird. Later, come find out, it was a motion sensor that can only be activated if someone obviously was in the room, and that was the only way in and out. So we would have seen someone walk in or walk out of that room. It's kind of unexplained evidence for us here. Um, we do believe that that, was, that had something tied with paranormal, but who knows, it could be electrical. We're not sure yet, or I'm not sure. <laughs> Some of the other team members might be, but <laughs> I always have to have that doubt. But other than that, I enjoyed the investigation. I want to thank Jordan, Adam State, Dinan and Adam State for inviting us back. We did enjoy having more cameras around that campus because that was awesome. We were able to get more more footage for y'all. And yes, unfortunately, we didn't catch capture much for y'all. But I think the things we caught kind of made up for what we... All the evidence we caught last time and this time, all in one, in my opinion. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Sam, host of Weekly Abductions. And uh, I'm here to tell you my experience and what I um, felt at Adams State University when we were up there investigating. So I was kind of watching the DVR system for a ma good majority of the investigation. I went into the upper auditorium. For the most part, I was kind of just um, observing the DVR system and uh, noting down points for us to uh, look back on to see if there was actually something there, if there wasn't anything that was seen there. There was definitely a couple moments where I felt something behind me, which behind me where that table was kind of set up, behind me was the auditorium doors to the up part. Also, I heard some noises when down the hallway, which was towards their um, museum. To the right of me was the museum, to the left of me was like the lounge room, which we kind of always have something that happens there, because that lounge room definitely has like a interesting energy there which I went into a couple times and definitely there was something noticeably there um, but while I was at the desk everybody else was off doing something and I could have swore I heard like one of the doors like handles trying to be opened or opening and I like radioed it in and I was just like is anybody opening doors uh, just what I asked them and nobody was opening doors because for the most part we don't really check the doors or open them just because it's this building is partially a financial building so we just didn't want to be disrespectful and open doors it was a uh, it was quite fun I enjoyed always enjoy investigating there at Adam State curious what we'll find next time we go down there so let's get into the actual evidence that we can show you now that we 
kind of got our personal experiences out of the way. And that's going to get into EVPs, which unfortunately, unlike last time where it was all EVPs really, this time, really no EVPs. We did luckily catch a little bit of the Spirit Box talk where it does sound like a female voice. Uh, thankfully, we had the EVP close by at the time. But really, nothing concrete. And so we'll show you guys those, but like I said, nothing to write home about. But still fascinating, at least we can show you some little there. Are you a different spirit than Ellie? Yes, yes. Yep, I heard that too. Alright, so now we're coming to the video and we'll start off with the one that I talked about in my personal experience which was the light turning on on the stage in that little storage area, like the storage room on the back. Like I said, I didn't see it personally, but I had seen it when we were looking at the DVR live stream and on YouTube, so that was at least something exciting. You guys hopefully were watching and got to see with us. But we'll show you guys a couple different videos of that because it actually went on about three times, uh, which was really cool. So it was motion activated. There's no entrance or exit outside of the main door you're going to be looking at. So it's, it's unexplained. Definitely interesting. Alright, so this next part is, again, around that time where I think the activity started to kind of spike. Once again, I think it was about 10.30 or 11. Very similar time frame to the first night. Just, you know, there was a lot less going on before that, so it kind of felt a little longer leading up to it. But here you will see Jordan and Gavin sitting in that little lounge room again. It's a room that... Both times, lots of people felt something was there. And you'll see Jordan on the left in this video, Gavin on the right. Now, you'll want to keep an eye out on Gavin's shoulder, his right shoulder. Alright, as you can see, and we'll play it again just in case you didn't see it there, but it's pretty noticeable, I think. Uh, but you actually see his shoulder being tugged. So, it's kind of interesting. We really tried to look close on his arm uh, as far as how it was placed. It does not look like it moves, so pretty interesting. Especially because a little bit later in the video, not too long, like 20 seconds maybe, you actually see him like that and he had complained to us that his shoulder was just felt weird a uh, little bit of a pain kind of a dull muscle pain so it was kind of interesting his personal experience backed up with some footage And so the final piece of evidence, like I said, we didn't catch a ton this time, unfortunately, but luckily, I think what we did catch was better than last time. So, you know, sometimes it's not about the quantity, but the quality. This one's going to be from the balcony of the auditorium. At this point, you're going to be looking to the right of this balcony. You will see the stage. And then, kind of on the bottom of the screen, you'll see where the camera's sitting on. 
and then you'll see some uh, seats so keep an eye out on that bottom corner and we'll come back and talk about it. Alright so yeah you see something manifest within frame and then come up and disappear and then something follows. There's not a consensus of what we think follows personally it, to me it looks like a hand but we're not consensus so we can't say but it's really interesting we'll show you it again at normal speed and then we'll slow it down and just keep an eye out let me know what you think real quick again we'll come back talk about it again All right, so just one last time, really slow. And personally, to us, it looks like a face. I'm not sure if you guys saw that. We'll even put a little still. And it was really hard to get a still because it's so fast. It's hard to like pause it in frame because it's just a couple frames of it. Nothing manifests, moves, moves, gone. So it's really hard, but we'll put it up again. So here's the still frame, and then we'll slow down the video, really let you look at it, and hopefully you guys are enjoying it as much as we have and you know everyone we've shown it to has thought it was really cool it's one of my favorite things I think we've caught maybe not Lawrence but definitely really excited So yeah, that's our short video uh, for the review. And we've done two of these, two investigations, like I said at the beginning. Big thank you to Adam State Dining and Jordan for helping us just feel so welcome on the campus, feel so at home, and, you know, for the campus and Adam State for even inviting us back. And we thank you guys for watching. And actually, this won't be the last time we talk about Adam State, as we were putting this evidence review video together we wanted to sit down and make a really nice one and combine both of them so that you guys can see both nights and see in total what we caught and who knows hopefully we can go back uh, they were starting a paranormal club and at least from what we've seen from the people that came the first time who are now in the paranormal group they seem really committed and really sincere and I think they got a bright future in the field. And I can't wait to see what they're doing. But yeah, we're so thankful you guys joined us in this late evening. Even though you guys are going to be seated in the morning. Uh, but another exciting night. And we will be back shortly in a couple weeks here uh, with that combined video. It's going to take a little bit longer. And who knows? Maybe we get an editor soon and we can do an actual investigation video because uh, we'll have more time to edit. <laughs> if you want to see more of these paranormal evidence review videos, click the link over here. I'm not used to doing it by myself. Usually there's like 10 people so I can direct you guys where to look. If you guys want to see more about what we're doing here at Cools Paranormal, a lot of interviews lately. Uh, there's going to be a pop-up here. Check those out. Lots of great guests in lots of different fields from musicians to actors to authors even some paranormal experts should be fun and don't forget to hit that like give us a subscribe and let us know is there a location you guys want us to check out